hurricanes. Some of the worst storms in the world. They match up there with tornadoes and tidal waves. We wanted to do some research and learn some really neat things about these massive storms that always seem to cause a lot of panic and worry, and when they start to form. During our research, we found out some really interesting information that we thought you would like to know too. Like, why are storms named after people? As well as, what does each category of hurricane mean? So stay tuned and learn some of these facts in this short but very interesting and informative video all about these massive storms called hurricanes. A hurricane is an intense tropical storm with powerful winds and heavy rain and can also create tornadoes, high waves, and lots of flooding. Hurricanes form over warm ocean waters near the equator. The warm, moist air above the ocean surface rises, causing air from surrounding areas to be sucked in. This new air then becomes warm and moist and rises too, beginning a continuous cycle that forms clouds. The clouds then rotate with the spin of the earth. And if there is enough warm water to feed the storm, a hurricane begins to form. At the center of a hurricane is the hurricane's eye. The eye is an area of very low air pressure. There are generally no clouds in the eye and the wind is actually calm. But don't let this fool you. The most dangerous part of the storm is at the edge of the eye called the eye wall. An eye wall is the area outside of the eye and it's made up of very heavy clouds. This is the most dangerous part of the hurricane and where the highest speed winds are. The winds at the eye wall can reach speeds of 155 miles per hour. What is the most devastating element of a hurricane? Storm surges. As a hurricane's winds spiral around and around the storm, they push water into a mound at the storm's center. This mound of water becomes dangerous when the storm reaches land because it causes flooding along the coast. The water piles up, unable to escape anywhere but on land as the storm carries it landward. A hurricane will cause more storm surge in areas where the ocean floor slopes gradually. This causes major flooding. Hurricanes can range from about 100 miles, 160 kilometers, to 1,000 miles or 1,600 kilometers wide. They can last from days to weeks and almost always form over the ocean. They can have speeds over 200 miles per hour or 322 kilometers per hour. And with things flying all over and also having heavy rains with them, it can cause land and mudslides. The closer a hurricane gets to the shore, the weaker it actually gets. In fact, some hurricanes get so weak and so much smaller by the time they get to land that they aren't even hurricanes anymore. They are what weather experts call tropical storms or a tropical depression. So when does hurricane season start? Well, it already has as of today. The Atlantic hurricane season is from June 1st to November 30th, but most hurricanes occur during the fall months. The Eastern Pacific hurricane season is from May 15th to November 30th. Hurricanes are also called cyclones or typhoons, depending on where they occur. In the Atlantic Ocean and Northwest Pacific, they are hurricanes. In the Northwest Pacific, they are typhoons, and in the South Pacific and Indian Ocean, they are called cyclones. The largest hurricane on record is Typhoon Tip, which occurred in 1979 in the Northwest Pacific. It had a diameter of around 2,220 kilometers. It was nearly half the size of the entire United States. Now let's go over the hurricane categories. What is a Category 1 hurricane? Category 1 hurricanes have wind speeds of 74 
to 95 miles per hour and cause small damage. A Category 2 hurricanes have wind speeds of 96 to 110 miles per hour and cause moderate damage. Category 3 hurricanes cause damage to roofs and trees and have wind speeds of 111 to 130 miles per hour. A Category 4 hurricane are likely to cause some deaths and extreme damage to buildings and trees. Hurricane Category 4s have wind speeds of 131 to 155 miles per hour. And the worst category hurricane is a Category 5, which caused death and dreadful damage. They have wind speeds of over 155 miles an hour. The result of a Category 5 hurricane is often considered a disaster. Now let's learn where we get our names of the hurricanes. Meteorologists or scientists who study weather know when tropical storms are about to happen. The meteorologists give names to all the tropical storms, hurricanes, typhoons, and cyclones. Has your name ever been used for a tropical storm or hurricane? If so, let us know in the comments below what that hurricane or tropical storm was called. The first storm of the year begins with the letter A. The names are male and female in order, and the names are reused every six years. But if a storm causes terrible destruction and loss of life, the name is not used again. So now you know all about hurricanes, what each type of hurricane category is, as well as other cool facts. Now that you know, make sure you share some of these facts with your family and friends and show them how smart you are. Did you like this video and learn something new? Well, we hope you did and hope that you're subscribed to us. And if you're not, subscribe to us today and click the bell notification too so you know when we put out new videos just like this. And if you can leave us a comment below letting us know what new videos you want us to make, tell us and we'll even mention you in the video as a shout out. How cool is that? Welp, that's it for today. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up button and check out this cool video too. See you next time. Bye.